The central question to The Rings of Power Season 1 is, who is Sauron? Two main answers are proposed to the audience. The first is The Stranger. The second is Halbrand. If we look at The Stranger first, several clues are given that he could be Sauron. When he first arrives in Season 1, Episode 1, he appears as if from a meteor striking the ground, forming a pattern which looks remarkably like the Eye of Sauron. We also see that he has unusual powers with the evil creatures of Middle-earth, such as being able to control the wolves that attack the Harfoots. Finally, there are three mysterious figures who follow some sort of cult of Sauron, seeking to bring him back to power. They identified the stranger as Sauron in the final episode of the season. However, in that episode, it's revealed that he is in fact not Sauron, but an Istar. This then leaves Halbrand as the main option for who Sauron is. In the final episode of season one, we see several main clues that he, in fact, could be Sauron. Firstly, Halbrand shows an incredibly powerful ability to heal, going from almost mortally wounded to immediately fine in just days. The second main piece of evidence is, of course, the dream sequence with Galadriel. Here it is strongly implied that Halbrand is in fact Sauron. And finally, in the newest season, in the first episode, we see what appears to be Sauron forming some sort of goo creature, and it is strongly implied here as well that Halbrand then emerges from the goo. But have we been deceived? There are several clues that Halbrand may in fact not be Sauron. First of all, he never is actually called Sauron directly. In his conversation with Galadriel, he simply says that she is the one that allowed Sauron to return, and it is implied that he is therefore Sauron, but not actually stated. We also don't directly see him emerge from the goo, and so there is a level of possibility that it could not be Halbrand. It is also odd that Adar does not recognise Halbrand despite spending time with him, even though he is in a slightly different appearance, you would expect him to realise that it is in fact Sauron. The most compelling evidence for not being at Halbrand is later in Season 2, when it's revealed that he is in fact the character Anatar. Given that Halbrand has now been revealed to be a different character Anatar, the question of who is Sauron still remains. And though the writers would like you to believe that this is all some trick, there is in fact a hidden answer which is going to be revealed later in Season 2. That is, that Sauron is in fact Isildur's horse, Beric. There are several clues that the writers have given us that Beric is in fact Sauron already within the show. First of all, if we examine the scene where we actually do see Sauron, and we definitely know it is him because it is from the flashback sequence. There's a few key details that we can pick out. First of all, Sauron has a very distinctive fighting style. We see him when confronted by multiple orcs and surrounded on all sides, choose to kick an orc with a powerful kick that sends him flying into a wall. Later on in the season, we see Beric do the exact same thing when confronted by orcs. We also should take note of when Sauron is transformed into the goo that we see in episode one of season two. He has a clear preference for animals, deciding to use their powers in order to get himself back to strength. If we are to examine as well the scene where it appears that Sauron transforms into Halbrand, we can actually note that there is something slightly off with this. We see that the human character disappears, but we first see leaving the cart the horse. In fact, Sauron has transformed into the horse and is controlling the horse's body. What we then see is the character Anatar emerge from the back of the cart. Anatar here has been sent from Valinor just in the same way that Gandalf has in order to help the elves and men of the world track down Sauron in the body of Beric. There is of course one thing that must be addressed though, the fact that Galadriel is told by Anatar that she had actually in fact helped Sauron's return to power. 
Now we see in season one, episode seven, that Galadriel saves Theo. And later in season two, episode three, Theo in turn helps Isildur rescue Beric. This therefore helps to prove that Galadriel has in fact freed Sauron and that the writers have just been tricking you into thinking that Anatar is in fact Sauron. Why then would Sauron choose the body of Beric? Beric is in an ideal situation located close to Mordor in order to help Sauron rise to power. Along with this, he also will go unnoticed in the body of a horse, with few being able to realise that it is in fact Sauron. It also places him close to Isildur, who, as we know, will later be corrupted by the ring. Sauron is already positioning himself for his rise to power in the future. If Beric therefore indeed is Sauron, we can assume that Beric equals Sauron. The answer to the question therefore in the Rings of Power is Beric equals Sauron, B equals S. If you've enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe and catch us next time.